turtle. My you father put me on a cross. He's I on his way. I have to because I know my rights. Your department's violation. Control is taking off on me. Send me additional. Hang up, you Control, I'm fighting. Don't move. She's on top. Big red's on top of her. Big red's on top. Get that door open. No, you're not trying for shit. What? 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 How long do you think you're gonna get away for? What did I do? I haven't done anything wrong. Is there a lot of kids taking a shower? What's up guys? I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to the show. This video was sponsored by our friends at Honey. Nobody likes overspending in general, especially not during the holidays. That's why you need the Honey browser extension. It's a free extension that helps you save on all the things you want to buy this holiday season. It works at over 33,000 websites. Let me show you how it works. Honey is the free browser extension that automatically finds the best coupon codes when you're shopping online. That means you get the best deals without even trying on over 37,000 websites like Amazon, eBay, Best Buy, you name it, it's probably in there. To install Honey, just go to joinhoney.com forward slash Patty Mayo. It only takes two clicks to install. There's literally no reason not to use Honey for everything you buy online, especially during the holidays. Use Honey for all your online shopping during the holiday season. It's free to use and installs with just two clicks. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Patty Mayo. That's joinhoney.com slash Patty Mayo. And now on to the video. Control for 2097. 420, I copy on scene. How you doing, sir? Good, you? Good. Where's uh where's Clayton at? Clayton. Rice. Rice? I'm not him. I know you're not him. Where's he at? Are you Clayton? Sure. Wanna come speak to me real quick? Is this your house? Because I need to speak with Clayton. About? About a complaint. Do you have a warrant to be on my property? We're investigating a complaint that gives us probable cause to be on your property. Okay? So if you'd like us to leave your property, I can take him off the property with me. But I'd like to be this, have this be amicable. Okay? I have no problem with you. I have no business with you guys. But if you want to take it that route, we can go down a whole other path. But right I'd now, like I just want... I'd like to see a warrant be on my property okay otherwise you're not supposed to be on my property okay well I don't need a warrant to be on your property I just explained to you why I'm here we're here because of a complaint okay so I need to speak with Clayton and what is the complaint is about that's none of your concern it is my concern it's not I mean, your concern his mother. you have nothing to do with his with with his behavior yes I do you are I'm not responsible mother. for him he is a grown man you yes, are not he is. okay well if you if he wants to tell you what's going on he's more than welcome to but I'm gonna come I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him back here and speak with him so that his personal business isn't in front of in front of you folks. Okay, so Clayton, why don't you come back to the car and talk with me? Just take your hands out of your pockets. Step to the back. Why? Because I have to speak with you. Okay, well, we can't speak right here. I'm not placing you under arrest. I'm gonna have you come back here and talk to me. Well, we have to go to the back of your car. We're right here in front. Okay, that's how we're gonna play this game. Well, we're not gonna be yeah. nice. We're gonna be assholes. Okay. Oh, I'm not being that. That's fine. That's fine. I can switch the hat. I can switch the hat real fast. You get an ID on you? Yeah, I do. Why don't you go get your ID for me? I will. Right now. What about you? You got an so, ID? Yeah. Can I have it? Clayton, where's your ID at? I don't have one. You don't have one on you? No. You on parole probation? Yeah. What are you on? Probation. What are you on probation for? Assault four. Assault four? Yeah. Okay. You also uh, know you have a restraining order? Yeah. What's that for? Contact with? With Alyssa Durham. Okay. Um, are you aware that she reported that you violated that restraining order? No. Okay, well she reported to us that you violated the restraining order, so that's what we're here to speak with you about. Want to tell me what happened? No. You, want, you don't want to tell me about it at all? No. Well, how come her son's in the house? What's that? How Whose son? Her son is here. Whose son? Alyssa's? Yeah. Well, does Alyssa's son have a restraining order on him saying no, he can't no. be here? No. no. You have the restraining no. order with a no contact with Alyssa. Right? And she's saying that you violated that no contact order, which is why I'm here to speak with you about it. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm not saying you're in trouble. I'm not placing you under arrest right now. Okay? I'm simply investigating a complaint that Alyssa told us that you violated the no contact order. Obviously, you know that we have a right to come out here and investigate that. 
No. I have no trespassing signs, so I want to see the warrant. Okay, don't have to have a warrant. You want to call? Yeah, you do. With you no want to? You want to? You want to call the department and make a complaint? You're more than welcome to. However, I have a criminal complaint that brought me to your property today. It gives me probable cause to be here. I'm ignoring nope. your sign. Okay, that's fine. Nope. I actually know this for a fact. Okay, that's fine. You can go that route. I have no problem with that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what happened with Alyssa? Did you go to her house? Yeah. When? Yesterday. Are you aware that you're not allowed to go there? Yeah. Okay. You got any weapons on you? No. Any knives? Anything on you? No. Okay, I'm gonna pat you down. Come over here. I'm just gonna pat you down for officer safety. I'm not placing you under arrest. I'm just gonna pat you down, make sure nothing on you. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. What's in here? What's in here? Nothing. I guess my stepping back a couple feet. Please. The officer, man, do his job. Step back a couple feet, please. Thank you. I actually step back. Step I'm back. standing back. I wasn't talking to you. All right, gonna put your hands down. Sit in that bumper right there. And hang out. You two can hang out here, or you can beat it. But I don't want you standing in my little zone. You stay out of my area. I'll stay out of your area. I'm not in your this zone. You get a problem with law enforcement? Area. You're on my property. Okay. I'm here investigating a complaint. Well, I have a right to be here. You have no, a problem with that? actually, you really don't. Says who? Says me. Are you a police officer? No, I'm so not. So I guess I probably know the but law better I than you do, do don't I? What do you know? That you, I do know you don't have a right to come onto my property. I do know no that your son, that your son. And you do not have a warrant. Okay. How do you want me to treat your son? Do you want me to arrest your son right now for violation of the restraining Why? order? Why would you arrest him? Because he just admitted to me that he violated a no contact order and get the f out of my face. Don't talk to my husband like that. Step out of my face. I'm not Step out of my face. Step out of my face. I told you we can take this amicably. I will take this easily. I'm not. But y'all, y'all, y'all ratcheting this up right now. Thank you. And you need to relax. That, that, you need to relax. Well, relax. See, you have to take give a step back. Me the same respect. I that showed you up here giving for. you plenty of respect. No, no not, not pointing a fucking finger Get in your my fucking face. Finger on my face. Put your finger in my face again. And see what happens. See what, happens. see what happens. Oh, well, you can, huh? Bro, step back. You step no, back. No, see, get Don't the fucking finger out of my, my face. Husband. Step back. Step back. Get the finger out step of back. my face. Step back. Step back. Step back. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation. Just hang out real quick. Just keep an eye on them. Control 420. Go. Can you have a supervisor? 1021? Affirmative, I'll have him call you in a minute. Clayton, why did you go to Alyssa's house yesterday knowing you had a no contact? Just for conversation? Did she invite you over? No. She didn't? No. Did you have a fight with her while you were there? No. Did you have any words with her while you were there? Yeah. A few choice words? Okay. And what was the result of that? Did she ask you to leave? Yeah. And you left? Yeah. Okay, so why is her son here now? Because that's my son as well. Is your son too? Yeah. And how did he get here? I, I brought him here. Who'd you pick him up from? Okay, so you violated the no contact again today? No. When you picked him up? No, yesterday. You picked him up yesterday? Yeah. Okay, so she knew that you were coming to the house to pick up your son? No. She didn't, you just showed up yeah. and you picked up your son? Yeah. Did she allow you to take your son? Well, he's here. He's here, okay. I appreciate your cooperation, so I'm going to take it easy on you right now. I'm just going to ask you to come in my car. We're going to go down to the station, ask you some questions, and we'll take it from there. All right? You know you're on probation, okay? So we're going to be walking a real fine line here about violating that probation. I'm not going to place you under arrest. I'm going to ask you to come back to the station with me. We're going to have a couple questions, and we'll take it from there. Fair enough? I think that's that pretty fair, brother. like that's an arrest. 
if you're gonna it take is. him down to the station. Right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you're. So if you're gonna put him under arrest. Well, I'm gonna take him. He's being cooperative with me. Yeah. yeah. Right. I want to get all the. I want to get all the facts. Because oh, he's got. He's got his. He's got his. He's got his son here. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes yep. fault lays on both sides of the road. I'm not gonna say all the faults on him. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say what he did or what he didn't do wrong. That's not up to me to decide. Okay. That's up for someone else to decide. I like to bring him down to the station. Have a qu have a couple of what's no, that? I'm not going to the station. I'm not asking you. You're you're coming to the station. No. Whether you go willingly or not is another is another is oh, another wait, situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. I'm being nice with you. You're on my property. You're gonna go back to jail. If you resist, stop moving. You're gonna go no. back to jail. No. Stay back. You're gonna go back to jail. Ma'am, out of the way. I'm out of the way. Excuse out me? Way, stop. Out of the way. Excuse me? That's my Control for 20 foot pursuit. Come on with your hands up! Clayton, come out of the trailer. You can make this a lot worse for yourself. You're gonna make this worse for yourself, brother. Stay back. Go away. Go away, you're going to handcuffs. Go away, you're going to handcuffs. Clayton, you're going to make this worse for yourself. We're not going away. Leave the area. No. Leave. My property. Leave. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. My son, my property. You got him? Yeah, I got eyes on him. Here. Okay. Come out with your hands up, Clayton. Easy, brother. I got eyes on him over here. Where's he at? Right behind the door. Right behind where you're at. Clayton, you got one chance to come out of here, brother. This is going to be real bad for you. Come on, brother. Make it easy. You see his hands? See his hands. You got hands? Out of what? No, negative. Back up. He's moved to the back of the trailer. Not going to happen. That's my son. Yeah, your son is going to get himself shot or killed. He violated a no contact order. Oh, so really? That's how you're going to play it? Yeah, I'm going to play it with the crime that he committed. He committed a crime. Partner, come here. Partner, come here. Hook. Sir, and turn around. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Turn around. Hands behind your back. What are you putting my husband in arrest for? Hands what did he back. do? What the hell? Ma'am, stay back. No, that's not going to happen. That's my husband. That's my son. So what the hell? Understood. I asked you to leave. You had the opportunity. Yeah, well, I'm not leaving either. And? And you're going to go in handcuffs too if you don't leave. That's my son. That's my husband. This is my property. You're interfering with and my investigation. You guys are wrong. You're going to go to jail for obstruction. Well, fine. Clayton, your family is going to go to jail if you don't come out of that trailer. Something <laughs> funny? Yeah. You got to get better at this. Put him in the car. Y'all are wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong for being on my property doing this, and you do not know everything that has happened. And you take the guns off my son now. I gave him the opportunity to come down and explain his side of the story. This yeah. is the way that y'all wanted to take no, it. No. This is because where we're at. What you do is when you get him in the back of the car, you arrest him and then you automatically... That's not true. Bullshit. That's not true. Bullshit. So is this where our taxpayers' money goes? It all depends on how people act, I guess, huh? Well, I'd rather have go to community pools and 
parks and things, but well, I was just sitting here watching football. Seems to be wasted when people just take things way too far. What's your deal? What's my deal? Go away. I care of my family. Well, you're doing a shit fucking job at it. Oh, really? So go away. I'm doing a shit job out of taking care of my family. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell you what. I take the best damn care of my family than you ever. Well, then why don't you tell your son to come out of here before he gets hurt? Really? Take care of him. How do you think this is going to go? If he didn't do anything wrong. You think we're going away? If he didn't do anything wrong. He admitted that he violated the no contact order. Yeah. That's a criminal and offense. you don't know the whole situation. I gave him the opportunity to explain his side of the story, did I not? Oh, no. You said we want to go and talk to you. That you, and what was going to the happen. The detectives want to talk to him about the violation. Absolutely. Now he's facing additional charges for resisting. Mm -hmm. Making it worse for himself. He's going to pick up additional charges if he doesn't come out. You need to tell your son. Towards there one more time. You need to tell your son. To come out. Gun towards there one more time and see what happens. You threatening me? No, I'm not threatening you, but I'm telling you. You're not telling me nothing. One. You're not telling me nothing. Damn war. You're gonna get back. You're gonna get back. I don't need a warrant. I have probable cause to be here. Nope. You need a warrant. That I know. That I do know. And there's no warrant saying you're supposed to be Hooker, on my property. You're going to jail. You're going to jail for obstruction. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Behind your back, please. Hands behind your back. You're going to jail for obstruction. Now you're losing the opportunity to help your son. Oh, really? Smart decision. That's your decision? That's my decision. Yeah. You had well, the opportunity to help I your can son. I also tell you that I know my rights. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Oh, you seem well informed. In your pockets is gonna poke trick or stab me? Nothing's in my pocket. Hands out! Hands out, hands out. Don't move! Any cuffs, brother? Partner? Here. How'd that work out for you, tough guy? I'm disconnected. Roll over. Let's do that. Stay there for a second. Do anything in your pocket? No. You already patted me down, didn't you? I, had, I did not. My partner may have, but I did not. Well, if he knows how to do his job, then I should have nothing on me. Yeah, you've also been in the camper. We can't see you, right? Right. Right. Opportunity to put something in there. You all right? Yeah. Brother. Stand up. No, have him, have him sit, right, sit oh. right here. Sit right here. Listen to what I'm telling you to do. Roll on your stomach. Roll on your stomach. My radio's disconnected. Give me a second. Control 420, taser deployed, one in custody. No, Should have told him to come out of that camper and he wouldn't be hurt right now. You hurt my son? He got tased. He's all right, but he got tased. That's bullshit. Like I said, I gave you the opportunity to help him. Opportunity's oh, over. Didn't. Whole family's going to jail. No. So you're just going to take him away? Yeah, he's going. He, some he's some bullshit stuff. No, he's under arrest for what he admitted to doing, violating a no contact order. Also, no. violating his parole. Resisting arrest. He's on probation, not parole. Probation, excuse me. Where's the other one? Something's down here. Uh, side. 
kidney, left kidney. That one inside you? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. I'm gonna pull it out, you ready? Right. You all right? Yeah. All right. Did you search them thoroughly? Yeah. Get the front. What's that? Yeah. Yes. Why is this worth it, man? We're sitting up there, you're cooperating with me? I'm just talking to you? Giving you the best opportunity you've probably ever been given? Yeah, going back to jail, man. Well, then why'd you violate the no contact? Why'd you violate the no contact? That's an issue between us. Well, I was giving you the opportunity to explain your side of the story. Why'd you run? Because I'm not going back to jail. But, but you are now. You knew you were gonna. What did you think was going to happen? A run is going to make it easier on you? That you're going to avoid the charge? Worth a shot. Was it worth it? Uh, was it worth it? Not necessarily, but... Not hindsight? No. What about your parents? That's on them. They were trying to, you know, look out for my best interests, so... All right, I'm going to unhook them. Okay. And kick him loose. We got him. Okay. I'm not too concerned. I don't want to charge him with obstruction. That's Face down. Stay right there. <laughs> Why are you still smiling? Stop smiling. Hey, it's funny. What's funny? That you're going to let me go. The fact that your son's laying on here tased? Yeah. I could charge you with obstruction of justice. You know that. Not really. Interfering with my investigation. No, 100%. You can't. I can't? Nope. Change my mind, sit down. Nope. Change my mind, sit down. Now you're going to arrest for assault. You're kicking me. No, I haven't. Get your hands off of me. Hey, partner. Yeah, I'm a big boy. Partner. Help me out over here. Uh, I don't want to kick you. Don't really want Put your to. legs in the car. Put your legs in the car. No. Don't Put your legs in the to. car. Uh -uh. Put your legs in the car. I'm going to drag your ass out of here. Kick my door. I'm going to drag you out in your ass. How's that? I'm a pretty big boy, huh? That's fine. You're next. No, I'm not. You're next. You ready for it? You ready for it? Sit in the car. Sit in the car. Why? Sit in the car. Why? Because I'm going to tase you if you don't. don't Sit in the car. Like Sit in the car. Ma'am, you're about to get let go. Y'all need to relax. I came here with the best intentions of helping everybody out. I came here with a good attitude, and y'all gonna get fucked up. You see that so you need to stop. I'll take this finger out of your face. I was just gonna let you go. That is disrespect, though. Just so you sit in the car. Thank you. Sit in the car. Thank you. Don't ever point your finger at me. Don't ever put your hands on my family. You want to do her? I was gonna let her go. Yeah, she got combative a little bit on the way in. So. Yep. Let's uh, let's run her for once. Okay. Run him real quick. Yep. Your ID. I got his earlier. Fucking butterfingers over here. Yep. Got his info earlier. Ma'am, what's your first name? Marion. M-A-R-I-O-N. Marion, what's your last name? Scardino. S-C-A-R-D-I-O-N. Sir, what's your first name? Richard. I'm informing you both right now. All three of you, listen up. All three of you placed under arrest. You understand your different charges. If you have any questions, I'll, feel, I'll be explaining this to you in a second. Right now, you have the right to remain silent and not say anything which might incriminate yourself. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You can stop answering the questions I ask you at any time. You have the right to a lawyer with you when you go to court or during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do each one of you understand these rights? Yep. Sir? Does in a different language? I can have an interpreter read them for you, but you speak English. Do you understand your rights? I suppose. Sir, you understand your rights? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Scoot over. It's a family affair back here now. This one first. Is this you guys' first time? First time what? First time. First time taking the entire family to jail? Yeah. 
Nope. So when you're over here, he breaks out that back window. So we went to go look. See him immediately bolt through the door. Drew the taser out. Yeah. Didn't even get to take the taser out of my mouth. Because he was going right right towards you. Yep. Yeah. Pop. See you later, bro. Good job, brother. Let's um let's search the entire here while we're waiting. See if he uh, dropped anything in here. Watch that. Yeah. He had a, what was he doing here? It's like he had a power tool. Yeah. That sounded like he had a sawzall? Uh, yeah. I mean, to me, it sounds like a Ryobi. Ah, DeWalt. I was wrong. <laughs> I thought I heard a Ryobi. Is that what he was doing? Yeah. I like he was saw I swear to god he was sawing something. Yeah. I think he was installing that lag bolt there to secure himself in here. Yeah. Okay. Definitely not checking in there. Yeah, watch yourself. Thank you. Balsa, balsa wouldn't help. Every RV. Apparently, every single, everyone's on a call. What's up? Hey, Sarge, what's going on? Not a lot. What do you got going? So... We came off to uh, Clayton Rice. He had a violation of restraining order. Admitted to it. Say it again? I got Clayton Rice. He had a violation of restraining order. Breach of no contact. Uh, he admitted to it. Asked him to come down for questioning. He ran, hid in a trailer, bolted out the window. We deployed the taser. He's in custody. And then uh, mom and dad are getting in the way. So dad has obstruction and assault for kicking me when he was in cuffs. And uh, mom's just got obstruction. But I want to see what you want to do with the parents. It's they both at most obstruction. Hey, let me let me call you back because I'm on my watch right now and I can't hear you very well. So let me call you back here in about one minute. Okay. Bye. When does the phone on a watch? Oh, Captain just messaged. I'm already dealing with Sarge. So. Or Captain's Dick Tracy. Huh? Captain the Captain's not on his on his motorcycle. Yeah. He goes. This is what he says. Message me, fam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just text out the report. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. All right, fam. Y'all understand what's going on right now? Why yeah. are you trying to move your cuffs? I'm you trying to trying to, trying to get comfortable. Just trying to get comfortable? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'm waiting for my captain to call me back so I can figure out what's going to go on with you two. I think y'all just being stupid. But personally, no, I don't want to do the paperwork stupid. on I'm you. Protecting my well, then don't. My yeah, I get it. I get it. But why are you out here treat me like this? You see why me. Why are you treating me like that? You should. These cameras record everything. We yep. can roll this back, and you can see my demeanor when I rolled up to y'all. Oh, really? And I'm acting just fine. And just pointing your finger right in my face, huh? Being so disrespectful. You, you're getting in yes, my face see, first. You're doing it again. You got in my face you first. You are just trying it again. I'll point my fucking finger in your face all and I want. And that is the disrespectful. Hell do you think you are to do whatever you want to somebody? I'm not doing anything that I want. Did you get bullied when you were no. younger? No. Huh, you did. When, when, at what point did yeah. you guys see me come up in here being aggressive with you guys? When you started being when aggressive you with see, me. Look at you. Yeah. You, 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 you just like to point, 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 huh? Yeah, I do. I do like to point. I talk with my hands. Yeah, well, you quit being fucking Italian. Don't You're in America. Oh, I'm Italian. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah. Italian, sorry about your luck. Should be American. Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm trying to cut y'all a break because I really don't. Well, you feel don't like really doing... have anything to hold me on. So all you're gonna do is take me to jail and release me. You don't have no, you, you, you'll get bond. You can get bonded. You can absolutely get bonded. Oh no! But I have you, you for don't obstruction. Have anything. I have you, you for I have you for obstruction and for assault on a police officer. Assault? Assaulting? On a police officer? You kicked me at this door, did you not? No, I did not. What were you doing? I kept my absolutely foot not. straight. I did not kick you. You I kicked told me you right I between the legs. Not. No, I didn't. You did too. You show me that. It's on, on the, the it's, it's on each one you of these show cameras. Show it on the film. It's on each you one of these cameras. Little shit. Okay. It's on each one of these cameras, so bro. So yeah. you're gonna hold me on. 
Obstruction. Obstruction. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, ma'am. I'm, I've been trying to let you go for probably 15 minutes now, and I'm just waiting for you to calm down, come to your senses. I'm not asking oh, you to apologize or anything like that. Trust me. But y'all still putting this on me as if I came up here like an asshole, putting everybody you in did. handcuffs. I came up here, okay? You did. He admitted to me he violated a no contact order. You know he's on probation. You know that's against the law. And it's a violation of his probation. So I could put him in handcuffs right then. Did I, did I say, turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest? No. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. And I said, I'll For let what? you tell your side of the story to the detectives. That's all they wanted me to do come what? down today. Oh, they asked that me to says sheriff, not detective. I'm not a detective. Yeah. I was going to bring him what, to the station what, 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 what you, because you, the detectives wanted to speak with him in regards to breaching the no contact. Well, see, so you didn't say no. that. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I told him to come down to the station you wanna, you for wanna questioning. You want to record that? Go down to the station. You, you, for you, questioning. You, you, you want to, you yeah. You were going to take what him down. That's what I said. Down. But no. You I said didn't say with take, who. You take said him down for questioning. Step back behind my vehicle. So I could speak with him in private. Because I know. Because you act like this. Because the way y'all are acting and influencing his behavior. No. Oh, uh, no. I know what going to the back of uh, a police vehicle means. Thank you. No, you're under arrest means you're under arrest. Okay. That, hold on. He just called me. Son of a bitch. Shut up. Did you just call my <laughs> son a son of a bitch? No, I said that in general. Well, that was wrong. Tell me what's wrong. I think if, if anybody knows this difference between right and or, wrong, or, or, it's not y'all three. It should be you, but obviously because you don't. Hey, what's going on? So, I tased, we got one tased, Clayton's got tased, he ran uh, after we asked him to come in the car to go down the station for questioning with the detectives in regards to breach of no contact, which he admitted. Mom and, uh, then he barricaded himself in a trailer. While he's barricaded, mom and dad are becoming increasingly, you know, in my face, getting all up in our business, not stepping back, not, not obeying any commands. Um, so we hook dad up, hook mom up, dad kicks me in the car, uh, but I have obstruction on mom, obstruction and assault on dad, and then we have uh, parole violation, resisting uh, without violence, uh, and breach of the no contact on Clayton. So Clayton's obviously definitely going, but what do you want to do about mom and dad? They get no pr- What was the original want for? Uh, he what was the original contact for? He breached a no contact order. Okay. It was, okay. It was, it was, he got a no, it was, it was a temporary restraining order for assault, for domestic. Right. okay, so. No, the dad kicked me when he was in handcuffs. When I went to pull him out of the car, he kicked me when he was in handcuffs, and the mom just is on obstruction. Okay, well, dad's going. He's got to go. Okay. And he can go for uh, a full time officer. And mom, I- I'll-, I'll leave you guys to deal with that one, but. If she, got, if she physically assaults you guys, she, she needs to go. No, she didn't. She was just mouthy, and she was obstructing us from getting access to the trailer that her son was hiding in. We'll take her for, for uh, delaying or obstructing a peace officer. You want her for that? She does need a lesson. Yeah. She's, mal- she's mouthy, but she has... I'll leave you guys decide with that one, but Dad's got to go for uh, a full-time peace officer. That's a felony. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Thanks, Sarge. Right. Yep. Yeah, I was willing to let her go. That's been really nice. I mean, she had reading glasses in her pocket that I pulled out. And she got the kid here. Clearly didn't want to scratch her, her glasses up. Yeah, and, and she got the kid here. Let's loose, let's kick her. So, yeah. Let's kick her loose. Okay. Um, you sure? Dad was a pain in the ass to get in and out of the car. Okay. And she's in the middle, which kind of pain in the ass. But let's okay. kick her, let her deal with the family here, and then we'll take them. Okay. I'm going to take this hand out. I want you to place it on top of your head, okay? Thank you. You guys don't keep these things very clean, do you? The cars? Yeah. We put a lot of dirty people like you inside it, sir. Yeah. Only clean Excuse it so much. Excuse me? Ma'am, I just let you out of handcuffs. Can you please go take care of his son that's inside? Uh, you called us dirty people? Well, you're we you covered in dirt because you're wrestling around on the ground and stuff. I no, mean, I, I didn't say you're a dirty ground. person, but physically you have, you have some dirt on your feet and stuff, so I can't clean my car every time. Yeah, thank Have a nice day. Thank Not going to have a nice day. Well, have whatever kind of day you'd like. Have a nice day, have a bad day, have an okay day, have a mediocre day. You're going to let my husband have that car. Unfortunately, I talked to my sergeant. You're being arrested for assault on a peace officer. It's How a, it's a felony. And did you know what? Assault the police. Beans, the detectives beans, will reloop. Beans, you and guys have your goofy little mm-hmm. cameras. Yep. I want to A- review that. Absolutely. And you know what? I'm going to do you the benefit. 
when we get down to the station, we'll review it together, okay? Yeah. In front of the detectives. Yeah. And the determination we made at that point, whether or not my recollection was accurate or if it was confused. And if my recollection, and if you believe my recollection is confused, yeah. I'm happy to show you the footage. And I'm happy to go down I that road. Was have my foot on your door. Okay, and I appreciate I've your never stance. You. I appreciate your stance. However, I have a different recollection of the events, so we'll review the footage when we get down to the oh, department, if my feet and we'll take are it from so there. Damn dirty! Show me a dirty spot on your crotch. And you know what? You're wrong. We'll be back soon. You're wrong. And I don't like that you're doing this to my family, on my property, and upsetting my animals and upsetting my whole family. This could have gone really easily. No. I could have just taken him down in the car for questioning. He violated his no contact, so obviously he's going to get a parole violation. But maybe there's more to the story that I don't know. That's why I didn't jump to conclusions. I didn't say you did this. I didn't say no, you're you under arrest. No, you jumped to a lot of conclusions. No. Yeah, Ma'am, when we get a phone call, you know he's on parole. Okay, you know he's, he's got on probation. Probation, sorry. You know he's on probation. You know he violated the no contact because he admitted it. He's on a no contact for a good reason, for the assault, okay? With all that in mind, yeah. we get the call from Ashley says that he violated the no contact, he admits it, right? I can arrest him based on that alone. Did I say place your hands behind your back, you're under arrest? No, I said, let's go down to the station, yeah, speak and with I know the detective. It means let's go down to the station, speak with the detectives, and they'll no. handle it from there. No, it Let doesn't. Let him tell his side of the story. No, it doesn't. And he's probably gonna go to jail for it. No. Because he committed a crime. And that's what happens when you commit a crime, you go down Why? to jail. Why? So many people in this What do you think should happen? What tell I me. think is this is bullshit. Okay, that's but tell what me, I think. But because your son violated the no contact order, what do you think should happen to him? Tell me, tell me in your opinion, because I'm interested My to hear your side of it. How I should have handled this? Is the how should I have handled that situation? Maybe talk. What was I doing? Talk. No, you weren't talking. You wanted to take him to the station, which means he you're going to put speak, him under he arrest. He needs to speak with the detective to get his side of the story well, the to determine whether or not his violation was criminal. Him. We need to determine whether it, his violation is valid and criminal. Okay. Based no. on Ash. Okay. You don't, you no, know, you were jumping conclusions from the time no, you he admitted pulled it. in here. No, he admitted it. I asked him. I understand that. He admitted it. But you jumped to conclusions, and you don't know the whole what side can, of every story. I asked, did he give me the side, or did he take off and hide in that trailer and make me tase him? He did. Yeah. And? Yeah. So now we have a use of force incident. So now we have a bigger issue. What is that? I'll need a full booking package on uh, father and son. You forgot to buckle up. 